It is, it is good to be home in Okaloosa County. I, I love this place. I, I came in from the swamp of Washington, D.C. just moments ago, and I was thinking back to when my family moved here back in 1990. Uh, we lived down in Miami, and Mom and Dad wanted to make sure that we got an upbringing where we had safe streets and great schools. We've got both of those things here in Northwest Florida. In Washington, D.C., I have sponsored legislation to abolish the Federal Department of Education. And I've done that. You know, the federal DOE is like an entire city block. It's eight stories high. And there's no one in there that educates a child, supports a principal, or helps a teacher. Instead, they create more paperwork to justify the existence of more bureaucrats. And so if we believe that education is best done at the state and local level, then we've got to make sure as a community that we round up our very best to serve in these roles. Marcus Chambers is one of the best that we have. He is one of Okaloosa County's great sons, and I am honored to endorse him for superintendent of schools. Just in the last few days, our transformational governor, Ron DeSantis, announced that it would be a top priority in the state budget to find $600 million more to raise teachers' salaries and teach, teach, treat teachers like the professionals they are. I fully support that plan. Our governor believes that we're not going to build a stronger education from the head shed, or even from Tallahassee. We've got to start by investing in the teachers who build the great citizens and the great Americans that we're raising up here in our community. And it is easy to see why Governor Ron DeSantis had so much confidence to appoint Marcus Chambers to be our superintendent of schools. I've known Marcus for more than 10 years, and my support for him is informed on the work that we've done together. I've got a special place in my heart for Pryor Middle School. My mom went to Pryor. Uh, my mom was the daughter of a bartender single mom. And my mom got the values and the love for Okaloosa County right there at Pryor. And so when Marcus was principal there, he saw that while some students were doing great, some students were on their way to high school and higher education and great careers, that far too many students were being left behind, were being forgotten, and weren't being inspired to be the best version of themselves. And so Marcus did something that was innovative, unconventional, and maybe a little bit illegal. <laughs> he brought in folks from law enforcement, from the business community, from the legal community, and we plucked the 30 students who we thought we were most at risk of losing to crime, gangs, or dropouts, and we put them in a specialized setting to give positive encouragement and good mentorship. Now, through the years, we didn't save every one of those kids, but a substantial number did go on to high school. Several went on to serve in our fantastic military, and some have even gone to open their own businesses since that time. And so I saw in Marcus, someone who knew that the job of being a leader wasn't just sitting up at the big office or telling people what to do. Marcus understands that to lead people, you've got to motivate them and encourage them and love them and ensure that people achieve their highest degree of potential. I've seen that in Marcus. I know many of you have too. I know our governor has seen that in Marcus. And I still believe that the best days for Okaloosa schools are still ahead and that the man who will lead us to our highest, highest summits will be Marcus Chambers.